Salut, Mitrap Nomad, l'équipe de Nintendo Alert. On se retrouve aujourd'hui pour un let's play de Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Euh, donc là, on est reparti sur euh, la quête principale. Donc, aller dans la région de Cadencia et atteigner la Grande Épée. Alors évidemment, si je prends dans le mauvais sens, <rire> ça va pas le faire. Désolé, c'est la fatigue. Pour tout vous dire aujourd'hui, euh, j'ai fait pas mal de boulot sur l'ouverture de cartes, de toutes les cartes. Euh, donc c'était... Euh, c'était pas ce qu'il y a de plus fun à faire. Donc go, la quête principale, ça va faire du bien. C'est un petit peu plus vert, mais on... ça reste très, euh... comment dire, post-apocalyptique. Ça me fait toujours mal au cœur quand, euh, quand on passe à Uraya et que je vois euh, le titan mort. Euh... Ça me fait mal au cœur. Alors, un camp Bon, là, je pense pas qu'il y ait quoi que ce soit, hein. J'ai quand même euh, bah, aussi monté de niveau. Parce qu'en ouvrant la carte, bah, je suis tombé sur pas mal euh, d'uniques. Donc forcément. Je regarde toujours alentour. Il y a pas mal de passages comme ça, un peu euh, brumeux. Euh. On sent que ça n'a pas été la joie pour, euh, pour la faune, la flore euh, et l'humanité euh, après Xenoblood Chronicles 2. Je ne sais pas ce qui s'est passé, mais euh, ils ont dû morfler tous. Alors, on voit un unique là. Je m'en suis trop, euh, trop tapé aujourd'hui. Je lavais un peu le pied. Bon, c'est ça le problème. Enfin, le problème. C'est pas vraiment un problème, on aime ça, mais... Euh, donc, c'est Noblet Chronicles. Il y a toujours quelque chose à faire. Alors, chemin de Bani. Alors... J'essaye de me repérer à chaque fois, de me dire euh, quel... où est-ce que ça peut oh. être hein. ce brasier. Ah, ah. Que le Vandam euh, du futur, du passé, on sait pas trop. Euh, le Vandam qui passe euh, l'espace-temps. Par le coup du brasier, euh, parce que j'ai vu un commentaire sur YouTube, hein, je vous l'ai déjà dit, oui, ça remplace des gros mots, mais euh, en fait, au final, je comprends pas parce qu'il y en a quand même souvent des gros mots, donc. Euh, va comprendre. Alors, base de la grande épée. Marécage. Ah, je pense qu'on va avoir énormément de cinématiques hein, comme à chaque fois qu'on progresse dans la carte principale. What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Il 
forcément, hein, moi je pense qu'évidemment ils sont toujours repérés. Là je sais pas qui c'est, mais euh, je pense que l'iris qu'ils ont euh, d'implanter, ça leur joue des tours. Hein. Ah, je sais pas si ce sont des ennemis ou. Alors ce serait yeah. plus des alliés, je pense. Hein. Pour le coup. Parce qu'ils les ont sauvés donc. Euh... Ça sent un nouveau héros qu'on va récupérer dans l'équipe tôt ou tard. Oh, c'est mignon. Il se met devant pour la protéger, comme si elle avait besoin de lui. Joli. What the Brasier. Oh Monica Van Damme D'accord Oh C'est trop pour moi C'est trop pour moi Donc euh, Van Damme A une fille Je suis vraiment pressée de savoir comment ils vont relier tout ça J'aimerais bien aussi ça pourquoi ils ont tous un œil crevé. Ah bah oui, c'est pour l'iris. Je venais d'en parler. Tiens. Ils sont tous crevés un œil pour euh, ne pas être euh, sous l'emprise de l'iris. C'est QFD, hein, à mon avis. Cachaille. Moi j'étais plus sur le crever un oeil. <rire> Mais un cache oeil c'est pas mal aussi. D'ailleurs je pense que nos héros auraient pu y penser avant. Vu qu'ils se faisaient souvent repérer. Mais... C'est la première fois d'ailleurs qu'on voit euh, un père, sa fille, parce que les autres, euh, leurs parents, on a jamais entendu parler. Hein. Et comme on a vu qu'au château, qu'ils étaient dans des espèces de capsules à la Matrix. Là aussi, il y a des questions à se poser. Alors voilà, bon ben ce sera Monica, prochain héros. aussi le principe de leur courir à derrière alors qu'ils avancent pas c'est 
Mika, can I ask you something? Just keep following Shania, will you? <laughs> Je les réponses. Moi, je l'envoie se faire voir. Décidément, Vandame dans le 2 comme dans le 3, c'est un rebelle. Ah, qui ne tente rien n'a rien. Hein. Alors. So Gernica, that's that wrinkly guy. Back then. C'est le mec tout plissé. <rire> Ça puce. Yeah. Aucun respect pour les aînés. Hein. Ah voilà. Tiens, j'en parlais justement. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. <rire> Il est juste pensé. I'll explain later. Je suis pressé de savoir comment elle va leur expliquer le concept de la parentalité. That's where the elevator is taking us. Croyez qu'on va avoir droit à beaucoup de brasier. Le papa met son brasier dans le brasier de la maman. When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. Pour ça, les héros auraient pu deviner à, par eux-mêmes. Hein. What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? <laughs> we'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros' blood. Au final, c'est quoi un Ouroboros C'est pas vraiment... Est-ce que c'est des descendants des lames Enfin, il n'y a pas de barrière sur les côtés. Hein. Moi, ça me rassurerait pas. Can you save your observations for later? Come on. Quel accueil. Check 
taking it for? Keris Castle's got nothing on this dizzying height. You're telling me. Just looking down makes me feel faint. On avance, on avance, on avance. Um, my head kind of hurts. Ah, yeah. That happens when you gain altitude fast. Don't worry, it'll subside. Ça fait un peu penser à Tantal, là. Enfin, vite fait, quoi. Entrance is up ahead. Okay, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This is all sparking amazing! Alors, um... Donc ils doivent pas oublier leur cache-œil. Ah, pour une fois, pour une fois, c'est une grande, euh, une grande ville. Ça change des colonies euh, Rikiki euh, que je trouve assez, euh, assez triste. On arrive enfin dans une grande ville. Pas trop tôt. This is the city. It sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you dangerous. Juste avant, on yes. était à Uraya. Je me demande si. Hein. I'd like to believe them. Je serais pas With mort à Ardain. They look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. New colonies on the grid. Ah, on doit encore courir après elle. Oh. It's bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey! Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. <laughs> Manana spy tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be. Humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? You've got what? One or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. 
These were our Ouroboros candidates. They trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Ah, donc ils sont un peu jaloux et énervés. Candidates. You happy that you stole Ouroboros from us? <sighs> All right, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose him. To be fair, they have been against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, all right. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, all right then. <sighs> Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. Ah, je dois encore courir après la gamine. You um, you said that you were monitoring us earlier. So is that why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I'd been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raven lunatics. It kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. J'aime bien Monica. Je trouve qu'au moins elle a du caractère. Ça, c'était plat pour le moment. Ça du bien d'avoir une... Euh, un héros qui, euh, qui parle un peu comme Mitra. Contre, le problème avec les héros, c'est que certes, on les met dans l'équipe, mais euh, ils ne seraient pas seraient pareils, quoi, parce qu'on ne les joue pas vraiment. Hein. Ça, moi, ça me pose un problème. Parce qu'il y en a qui sont attachants et du coup, on les joue pas. Nous sommes plus ou moins sur le hilt guard. Même ce place était avant ravagé par la guerre. Par Kevis et Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. Ouais. More husks and Alors, du boulot de flûte, là, les, les amis. <sighs> This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Some relationships have changed. Hey, no. You know that pile of hearts earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? Aren't 
are those? Cradles. Oh. <sighs> Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth, trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. In order for Mobius to exist, Matrix, they must continue to claim life energy. And these Avoue cradles right here, là. they're used to recycle your lives. Bethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius' shackles are destined only for mutual un peu comme les lames, hein, dans le deux, hein. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle. A blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Ouais, totalement comme les lames du deux, hein. Then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh, right. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. J'espère quand même qu'il y a un rapport avec les lames, hein, parce que, enfin, on comprendra aussi pourquoi les titans euh, sont dans cet état. So we're born to fight, and then we die, over and over and over. I can hardly believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt. Oh, night is fallen. de regarder les décors alentours <coughs> on arrive au centre médical je savais j'allais le dire on va avoir des femmes enceintes Where are we? this is a maternity ward maternity Doctor, may I? Vous savez, il y avoir plein de gosses, c'est sûr.
little person. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing! Oh, croire moi devant un bébé. Je sais même pas laver les mains, n'importe quoi. She's so warm. Place one finger. In her palm. Cette scène est mignonne. Hey, Sana, look at this. You need to try it too. Oh. Wow, you're right, Mimi. It's incredible. L let me have a turn. Pauvre bébé. Enfin, il montre des émotions. This is incredible, Senna. Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. Oula. All right then, lads and lasses. Who Oula. wants to know how to do me? Ah, on a vu, nous montrerons pas cette scène. Hein. Mm. <laughs> well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up. C'est gênant. This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together, age, then return to the earth. Et enfin, il y a des gens qui sont chaîtes frites à notre époque, hein? Thank you. I mean it. Monica. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it.
You'll understand too someday. Un bébé Noaimio. Je crois qu'elle va nous faire visiter toute la cité comme ça. the same as the one before. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. That one, she looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others don't look like anyone. Tell us about them. Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folk you see here, we're all descended from them. Bound by their blood. Mm. It was the Queens, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down Amobius. Although, there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. finally clicked there's only so many seats and stones the one that my father was moving it took a long time to be found I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal but the Queens not those sham figureheads in the castle the real Queens yes real Queens I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. What for? Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are they humans who can even live that well, long? Comme, um, Now that, I don't know too much about. Then what do you, you know? Do? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. Ce serait assez fou que ce soit un Aegis. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old. They're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years? You kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this 
is the will of Ouroboros. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of folks here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. But the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. Oh, elle avait un bébé là, je vous le dis. I agree. <gasps> it was so precious. Alors, niveau d'alerte Mobius. Les niveaux d'alerte d'Agnus et Kevas ou Kevs ne forment désormais qu'un seul niveau d'alerte, celui des Mobius. Colony relations sont updated. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Yeah. Quite a weight to carry. Absorbing all this in one go. Eh bien, euh, bah, c'était plutôt intense. On a même appris comment faire des bébés. Donc, euh, on va prendre le temps de se remettre euh, de tout ça. Euh, je vais sûrement explorer un peu euh, la cité. Et puis, je vous dis à très bientôt pour une prochaine vidéo. Bye, bye